Welcome explorers, today we are going to see the C++ implementation for Polybius Square Cipher. So let's start. Now before starting to write the program, if you want the full details as well as the full description for this Polybius Square Cipher, then you can check my Java as well as my Python video for this cipher. Also you can access the PDF document present in the description box. Now let us start writing the code. So first of all I am going to write the header files which will be necessary for writing this program. So now I'm going to write the int main function, but before that I'm going to declare one character 2D matrix or array which will be used for storing the character values that is the characters of the English alphabet. Basically it will function as the table. It will be a 5 cross 5 matrix. So the dimensions are 5 and 5. And after that I am going to write the int main function. Now as you can see we have finished writing the int main function. Inside the int main function the while loop as you can see here will insert all the necessary elements inside the table 2D character matrix or array. And after that we have declared three string variables pt, encpt and dcpt. And then we had prompted the user to enter the plain text and taken the string input as pt. And then we had called the encrypt or encrypt function where pt is the input and the return value will be stored inside encpt. And then we had printed the encrypted text and we had also done the same thing for the decrypted text as well by calling the decrypt function and storing the return value inside the dcpt string variable. So now let us write the encrypt function as well as the decrypt function. This encrypt function is basically going to return a string. So a string e n c r y p t and it will also take a string as input or parameter which is the plain text or p t string. So we are finished writing the encrypt function. So this is the encrypt function. So inside the encrypt function as you can see first of all it is taking the plain text or p t string as input and then we had declared one empty string variable called encpt and we are also converted basically we have taken all the characters present inside encpt and stored it inside a character array called encpt1 and then we had copied the converted character equivalent or the character string equivalent sorry the character array equivalent inside the encpt1 character array and after that for each of such characters present inside the array we are basically search for each of such characters one by one inside the table two dimensional character matrix and after finding such characters we are basically going to store the row as well as column value if you can see inside the if block basically this is this all gonna happen inside the if block and after that we had converted the row as well as column into the string and we had concatenated the encpt with column as well as string values. So and after for each of the characters which we have inside the character array we are going to do the same thing and finally after leaving the for loop the main for loop we are going to return the encpt string variable. So now let us write the decrypt function also. This decrypt function is also going to return a string so it will be of type string and it is going to take the string encrypted text or encpt as input. So string encpt as the input or parameter or the formal argument you can say. So this is the decrypt function. It is taking the string encpt as input and inside this function first thing which we had done is the declaration of one empty string or dcpt and for each of the characters present inside dcpt we had converted the 
characters present inside DSCBT in the form of a character array called DSCBT1. And after that, we had copied the character array equivalent of the converted ENCPT into the DSCBT1 character array. And now for each of the pairs of characters present inside the character array, basically the first character for each of such pairs will be segregated as the row value and the second one will be segregated as the column value. And so after getting that, we basically had actually converted the row as well as column value into the integer format. And after that, we had mapped the row as well as column value by decrementing minus one, by decrementing one from each of such values because the index values will be one more, will always be one more than what we had actually done with respect to the table 2D character matrix. So after mapping the row and column value with respect to the table, we had converted the character into string and concatenated it with the empty DSCBT string variable. Basically, this is going to happen for each of such pairs of characters which we have inside the character array. And after the exhaustion of the pairs of characters which we have inside the character array, we are going to leave the for loop and we are going to return the finished decrypted text. Now let's run the code. So zero error, zero warnings. So as you can see, we've got the encrypted text as well as the decrypted text. So finally, we had accomplished our mission. So that's all from this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for further interesting updates. I am planning to introduce something new in my channel. So for that, stay tuned and do subscribe. Until then, keep exploring.